European traders, Privateer FX coming at you at the European Open. Got a little confused yesterday. I thought that U.S. Rep repatriation story was really going to come to the fore. This did not happen. Now we are sitting mid-range in Euro, at the top of the range in Cable, top of the range in Aussie, top of the range in Kiwi, mid-range dollar CAD, Crosses are mid-range, eh, topish, towards the top of the range is mid-range. So we wait. Let's have a look at this euro chart. This is now the defining trend line on the hourlies. Comes in from the 119 level. Keeps moving on up. It was very respected yesterday and the day before. 122.38 today. Obviously, the day's high was uh, Tuesday night at 123.23. We're hearing that there's a lot of options risk. Desks being short, gamma, knockouts that need to be taken out at 124 and 125. This has been consistent chatter since the break of 120.90. Whether this is true or not, it's hard to hard to say, but the way the price is playing out, this now this story has has added credence. Let's take a look at this cable going into the psychologically important one forty. It'd be hard to believe that this thing doesn't stop on the one thirty nine handle and at least do some minor sideways work. You look at the longer term cable chart these two lows over here uh, 140.36 this was obviously the Brexit day should be resistance at 140 no trade in cable here at 139.10 dollar Swiss looking very soggy made a new low last night down to 63 kind of on its knees still at 70 with US yields at 263 this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us we would start fading this the next big support is 9509 so 90 between 9550 and 95 the figure this dollar swiss looks to be a fade what else is there? Dollar CAD or Aussie. Let's look at Aussie. Aussie just keeps chugging forward. We haven't made a new high from the employment bar, which was 80.23. So this long tail still is in play, but surely there's going to be a few stops uh, above 23. And what to do with Aussie? I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. Um, no trade there. So it's, it's really a patience play in most of the currencies. Equities. We had that ridiculous move up. 28.09 and a quarter. No way I got stopped out on that move. Oh wait. Yes I did. Um, now we're just kind of consolidating up here in this range you could probably draw a nice little trend line here if you wanted to um, but who knows equities we got this US government shut down we're kind of waiting to see what happens whether they kick the can down down the road or they do shut down obviously a shutdown is a short-term deal uh, it's just political bargaining, so I don't even know if the market um, is that concerned. Cryptos, Bitcoin's just consolidating at higher levels, up 15% from the 10,000 level, 20% from the 8,900 level. Again, trade out of your longs here. Leave a core short with a fantastic average, and then sit. This is the crypto play. Ethereum, same thing. 
This looks really constructive. If we can get through 1100 again in crypto, that in uh, Ethereum, that looks like a nice, nice pivot. In general, this morning we are in a waiting game. We are in a holding pattern. There's no need to make trades every single day. There's no need to dive into things. You want very, very strong setups. I don't see any very, very strong setups here. So, certainly at the open in the first couple hours of Europe, we're just going to sit, wait, and watch. We suggest you do the same. Good luck out there. Talk to you at the New York Open. Ciao.